Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. Today we are here with the contents of oligomenorrhea. You have to note that it is important to make sure that the cause of a delayed menstrual cycle is not always pregnancy. So what is oligomenorrhea? It is a menstrual bleeding occurring more than 35 days apart and which remains constant at the frequency is called oligomenorrhea. What are may be the causes? The causes may be related to age like during adolescence and preceding menopause. Sometimes it may be related to weight like obesity, stress and exercise, endocrine disorders, androgen producing tumors like ovarian and adrenal tumors, tubercular endometriosis, sometimes the presence of drug like phenothiazines, semetridine, methyl dopa, etc. What are the symptoms of oligomenorrhea? A 35 day gap or longer between menstrual cycle. Heavy bleeding may be present. Less than 9 cycle in a year. The pain experienced prior or during your period. Easily fractured or broken bones. Unpredicted period that leads to infertility. So in case of female athletes, the oligomenorrhea symptoms include extensive and restrictive diet. Frequent fractures in the bones of lower legs, hips or spine. Abnormal heart rhythm, abnormal eating and low BP also present. How is oligomenorrhea diagnosed? Oligomenorrhea usually diagnosed after a review of your menstrual history. It includes physical examination and blood test also. Sometimes ultrasound imaging may be necessary as well. How is oligomenorrhea treated? Oligomenorrhea is not a serious condition on its own. Menstrual period can be adjusted with the changes in hormonal use, birth control pill use and also progestin. Sometimes oligomenorrhea can indicate another underlying problem such as eating disorder which need to be treated. Other women may need to cut back on their working out. The treatment of oligomenorrhea depends on the cause. In adolescents and women near to menopause, oligomenorrhea usually needs no treatment. For some athletes, the changing in their training routine and eating habits may be enough to return the woman into the regular menstrual cycle. The pharmacological therapies, especially the use of birth control pills, consultation with a psychiatrist or dietist is usually necessary to manage an eating disorder. Glandular therapy, hormonal replacement therapy is also recommended and complementary therapy such as meditation and guided imagery. In case of athletes, they may require the physical therapy or rehabilitation as well. The use of herbs also to treat oligomenorrhea like black cohosh, it's termed semisifuga resmosa and also castri, vitex agnus castus. The nutritional concerns, diet and adequate nutrition including adequate protein, essential fatty acid, whole grains and fresh fruits and vegetables are important for every woman. And also in some cases, there is administration of calcium or vitamin D supplements to lower the risk of osteoporosis. Thank you. Have a nice day.